Okay, Harley says I'm good to go. So, all right, today I want to show y'all how to make 18 by 18, it's going to be roughly about 18 by 18 Christmas pillows. Now, obviously, any pattern will work. We are going to do Christmas material. Um, now, I found this pattern at Hobby Lobby. Um, it was $6.99 a yard, um, and I got a yard and a half. And I got 40% off of that. So this is going to be fairly economic. And we're going to dive right on in. And I'm going to show you what you need to do to cut, put it together, and um, have a set of Christmas pillows that is economic and very easy to do. I've got my material laid out. Now I went ahead on the other side and I cut off this piece because I want my material to be square, as square as I can get it. Now when I'm dealing with stripes and stuff, it makes it really, really easy. So I'm just going to find me a line to follow up and I'm going to square this material up. And you can see I don't have anything fine or fancy. I just work on the floor. You can work on a table in your room. Um, anything like that. Um, I Every time I get, it's best to have scissors that are left in one place specifically for sewing. Unfortunately, every time I go get scissors and put them in my sewing desk, they always find their way to other places in the house and then they lose their dullness but any scissors will work but it's best to have good sharp scissors when you're doing projects like this and y'all are going to have to excuse the baby because he's not had a nap today and he's kind of ill but we have some to go this afternoon but i wanted to show y'all how to do this how easy it is and how cheap because pillows are not uh, very cheap most pillows are pretty expensive but you can make them so easy um, for yourself you can make them for um, gifts for other people you can make them if you have any type of farmers market that you're a part of so I have my material square now and the next thing I need to do is measure out and I'm gonna measure out 20 by 20 Because you want to give yourself um, room to sew. So I'm going to give myself a 2 inch allowance. Okay, so I have measured in this line right here is going to be about 20 inches. So I'm going to cut this all the way up. y'all can see that's one square cut out but I need two squares to make one pillow so what I'm just gonna do is line these up and find me a line to cut on to cut on to put these together so doing the math here I'm gonna have two pillows ten dollars actually less than that 40% off so then you divide that by two that's like four dollars a pillow which is 
unheard of. So I now, have two. Now I'm going to cut my next set. Okay, y'all. So before I get started, I have to tell you real quick the steel I got on these pillows. I just did the math. And so let me do $6.99. I just did the math, but divided by two. $6.99 divided by two is $3.40. Basically $350. So $6.99 plus $350 is $10.49. $10.49 times 40% off was $4.20. So $10.50 minus $4.20 was $6.30 for a yard and a half. Now I'm making two pillows. From this so six dollars and thirty cents for the material divided by two is three dollars and fifteen cents now like I said that is not including the stuffing because I already have the stuffing um, that I it's from old outdoor pillows um, that I already had so I already have that here um, but three dollars and fifteen cents for the material y'all you cannot beat that so uh, something I want to tell you real quick before you get started now a piece of fabric that has the same pattern on the front and the back does not matter how you put it together and sew it, okay? Now, if this was the front side, meaning that the pattern was on the front and the back was white, then that matters. You need your patterns that would be on the front together and your two outsides when you're putting the pillow together needs to be on the outside. We call that the wrong sides. Now, I'm not an expert sewer by any means. Several years ago, I had a friend show me how to do basic sewing. So that's what I do is basic sewing. Um, so you're gonna want your wrong side showing. That means the backs and the fronts, the fronts together. So once you do that, you're gonna sew all the way around three pieces, okay? So I'm gonna stop when I get to my third piece So I have done three sides of my square. On my last side, I'm gonna go about halfway and stop. And then I'm going to tie that piece off and I'm gonna pick it up and go skip about a hand width and start, start. So when I get to here, I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna tie that off and I'm gonna pick back up about right here. And then I'm gonna sew the rest of that seam down. And the reason why is because we're gonna flip this pillow inside out and we're gonna stuff it. And when you do that, you have to have a place to put your hand in to stuff the pillow. my Harley found me a bag that I had in my sewing desk so I'm gonna use that what I can um, until I have to go up and see the attic and pull the other pillows out okay so you see our square and we have sewn one two three sides all the way down this last side I stopped here and here and I sewed this down and I sewed this down so what we're gonna do now 
is I left a little place for me to stick my hand into. Actually, that is kind of small, but it, it will work. Um, and what we need to do is we need to turn this pillow inside out. Inside out. Inside out. So I'm just going to stick my hand in there and we're going to turn it inside out. I did make that a little too small for my hand. So just be, you know, make sure at least your hand can fit in there. Y'all got out. I'm almost done. Okay, so I have my pillow turned inside out. And one thing that will help is when you get into the corners, if you will use something like a pen, a rod, a spoon, a fork, whatever you have, and you can just take those pillow, those ends, and just take them, and you can use that pen and make your corners nice and pushed all the way out. I don't know what you would actually call that. So I have those done. Let me do this last corner. Okay, so now you see we have a nice outlined pillow and you need this hole, like I said, for the stuffing. Now, how much stuffing you put in there is going to be up to you, whether you want your pillow nice and firm and thick and plush, or if you want a little bit more of a thinner pillow that's just up to you so i'm gonna stuff 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 until i have it where i want it As you can see, I used everything that I have, but it's still not quite, it's still a little more loose than I want it. Now, again, this is personal preferences. There is no exact amount. You just do until you like. So I, I um, have some leftover stuffing that come from upstairs, like I said, out of some other pillows. So I'm just gonna push this in and intermingle it all in together until I get the consistency that I want. And if you noticed that these two types that I'm using, one was more like a polyester type material. This almost feels more like a true cottony cottony material. So what I'm going to do is once I get it stuffed in, I'm just going to take it and kind of pick it apart and blend all of it together. And you really won't ever know the difference. So yeah, basically I'm doing this in the pillow in there because this one is a little bit more packy the other one is a little bit more light and fluffy but if you blend them together in the pillow it's not going to make a difference I have my pillow where I want it and I'm not going to pack mine real firm so I have it where I want it and there's one or two things you can do you can take this put it together and hand stitch it but I am going to use my sewing machine um, I have found that to be the easiest thing to do. So what you're going to do is you're going to take this little ugly inside that we cut and you're going to flip it down and you're going to do that on both sides. And then you're going to put that together and it's going to make a nice neat line. A nice neat line and you're just going to sew that together. And that will be the only stitch that you're actually going to see out of the whole pillow. Because these stitches right here that we put together are on the inside because we flipped it inside out. So you actually don't see this stitch. This is actually going to be the only stitch that you see. And we're done. 
when you put those together now typically when you sew you would leave yourself a good bit of space behind your thread but when you sew this together you really want to try to get as close to the edge as you can and that is all and this is very easy like I said this pillow was three dollars and fifteen cents you cannot get any cheaper than that um, it's going to be cute on the couch with the rest of my Christmas pillows. Unfortunately, most of those cost way more than I wanted to pay for. So when you can find a steal like this pillow and throw it in, yes, it did require a little bit of my time, but to save the amount of money is definitely worth it. Now, to, to make my set of two, here they are, here they are. So I'm just going to repeat this whole process with my second one and then I will have a set of two and it's just as simple as that it's just as simple as that it's just as simple as that and I hope this helps you guys um, if you are interested in investing in a sewing machine I will link the one that I have that has come in so handy around the homestead not only can you make pillows easily you can make curtains super super easy um, any alterations on your clothes typically are very very easy so i have definitely found that to come in handy on the homestead and um so i hope y'all enjoyed this video if you haven't subscribed please do so and hit the bell so that you will be notified when we have new videos that come out and happy homesteading y'all